Hey everyone, Vinayak here. Power outage is one of my biggest fears which threatens to destroy all my work in a matter of seconds. To get around this problem, we can install a UPS, but my PC has been getting more and more powerful with every upgrade and the power draw effectively has increased too. My older UPS, uh, even though it can give me a few minutes to save my work, but it's been giving lower and lower backup as the years have gone by. I have with me the APC BR1500G hyphen IN UPS which has a 865 watt output. So let's check it out if it can solve my problem. Here's the APC BR1500G IN UPS. The box is quite big. The box is also quite heavy, so lift carefully. It's 1500VA with a load capacity of 865 watts. 135 minutes backup. This would depend on how much load you have on the UPS. Most PCs would not pull that much anyway, but when editing, rendering and gaming, it does raise the power draw. Two years warranty and also the UPS has automatic voltage regulation. On the back, we have more of the specifications. And these here are the power plug points and there are six in total, but only four provide backup from the battery. The remaining two are for surge protection only. Let's open it up and check the device out, shall we? Here we go. In the packet are cables to use with APC's PowerShoot application, which allows checking on the status of the UPS using your computer. Here's the UPS. It has a 16 amp plug, so you will either need a 16 amp power point or a converter to use with a smaller 10 amp plug. On the side, we have the quality test results. Looks like it has passed all the tests. This is a big UPS. It uses two batteries within. The body is plastic with a glossy front, which also houses a LCD screen on the top. The weight of the unit is around 12 kgs, primarily due to its large batteries within. We have the APC logo on the side, embossed, and here are the ports on the back. The ports are marked with which have the battery backup and the ones that have the surge protection only. The Ethernet port is used with the proprietary USB to Ethernet cable to be controlled by the PC. There is also a slot on the top left to add additional external batteries to expand for more power capacity. The front is really glossy and has this protective film on it. The LCD display is around here which activates when powered on. You need to keep this UPS always powered on as per the instructions here so that it's always completely charged. To turn off your devices, you need to use the power button on the top face. The buttons available are mute sound if you don't want to be disturbed by the beeps when the power goes, power on off button and information display which allows you to scroll between the stats available like what's being pulled, the voltage the UPS is receiving, backup time etc. Let's plug in and power the UPS. The display is now active and it displays the voltage it is receiving. Now my system is on. This is when it's idle and not performing any intensive tasks. But once you run a game, you can see it jumps up to 400 watts and more. This was for uh, Fermark benchmark, so we know how much the system is actually pulling off the UPS. Now I have my second uh, APC UPS only for my monitors as I didn't want to overburden this one. But it can handle up to 865 watts, so it could handle the extra monitors too easily. Let's turn the main power off and see if it can handle the system. Yes, it has managed to keep them on. Since this is a relatively big UPS, designed for more power-hungry applications, the runtime is actually very good. A typical modern computer system will draw somewhere uh, between 100 watts to 200 watts during typical lighter workloads. As per the UPS, I have around 41 minutes of backup, but I'm more interested in being able to save my work more gracefully so that there's a lot more time for me. The time it takes to switch to battery power was quite fast as the computer didn't switch off when it did. Oh, and one important feature or annoyance to note is that the fans are quite loud, especially when it just starts up. When we record our videos, the quieter the environment, the better. And if it heats up during use, it will ramp up the fans quite high. I would have liked standard USB to USB cable for the power shoot application. The UPS is pricey at Rs 16,000. I know I have heard a lot on why not use an inverter instead and it would have cost just as much and might even provide more runtime. As far as I know, the batteries we use with inverters are not safe to use within a closed room. Comment below if I am wrong. 
so a UPS looked to be a better choice for me as I didn't want to draw wires to my room specifically for my PC power port. Features wise, the APC BR1500G matched all my expectations and is worth it if you want a UPS with a long backup, especially for systems with more power hungry hardware. On the flip side, it is pricey, but you get what you pay for. As usual, if you have any questions, write to me at tech at talkingstuff.net or WhatsApp me at 96525-78833. Also make sure to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos are added. Thank you for watching and see you all next time.